Hello everybody and welcome to Ravenel Ford. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up your Bluetooth enabled cell phone. That's right. Whether you have an Android device or a Apple iPhone device, I'm going to show you today how to get inside of your new Ford and hook up that cell phone so you can make calls from inside the vehicle. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you learn something. It's a very easy process once you get the hang of it. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, everybody Dave is gonna hop inside the Ford Edge with us today and show us how he would pair up his Bluetooth device with his Android phone so let's hop in and have a look and see what Dave's gonna show us so they're gonna pull up they're gonna open up their Bluetooth on their phone mm -hmm. and they'll get into the uh, setting Bluetooth settings okay device and select it once it is found Select one of the devices found so we'll by come up there. We'll pick it. Confirm that the pin displayed on set we'll matches the pin displayed on Make device. sure it pairs with Ford. Mm -hmm. Hit OK. Hit yes. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions. And it's going to want to permission to access the messages. The is in motion. So you have to allow those notifications yep. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then lot to finish and it's going to come back and it's going to want to uh, um, add, add all your contacts mm -hmm. you just hit allow and then you give it a little time once that part's done mm -hmm. you're good and it will put all the contacts into here mm -hmm. and now let now, then it'll prompt you to let you know all contacts are downloaded okay okay and then you want to double check there it is there's a contact so it puts everybody in Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if you... Can we test it? Like, maybe call the store? Do you got them listed as a contact? Mm, actually, I don't. So, basically, though, if you wanted to call somebody, you could just click on their name, mm -hmm. and it would just start ringing them. Right. Okay. Um, now, can you just... Is there a keypad to dial well, a number? Well, one of the ways that you can do, also, by voice... Please say a command. Call Deb Williams. I found multiple phone numbers for Deb Williams on cell. Please say the line number of the one you'd like. One. Calling Deb Williams on cell. And then, of course, you can hang up here, mm -hmm. or you can do it right there. Okay. And it's that easy. And then, mm -hmm. of course, as you said, too bad. You can actually now dial the numbers. Dial the number in. Just like any other. Uh, also, oh, messages. Text, text messages. Yep. And it'll read them back to you. Really? Yep. So while you're driving, it can read a text right there mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Now, you cannot text or send anything out while the vehicle's in motion. Okay. So it kills that feature. But an incoming text, it'll read them out to you. And then there are some uh, preset responses that you can actually send back. Okay, so, so there's some, but you can't. Now, what if you yeah. wanted to? Okay, here see, we go. Like, see, and then you can hear it. What's up? I'm at work. What's up? I'm at work. Okay, so, she said, "What's up? I'm at work." Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'm gonna send her back. I butt dialed you. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay. But, yeah, and but the, you see how easy that is, and yeah. you saw how that feature works mm -hmm. coming in. Now, mm -hmm. the 911 assist does that have to be? You have to have your phone hooked up, correct? Correct. Mm, yes. Okay, and that that is basically just dials 911. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you're in a car accident, will 911 assist call to what call and um, do 911 for you? It, it, if your phone's hooked up through Bluetooth, it will. Really? Mm -hmm. And how this how that actually works? Mm -hmm. There. Not that we really want to call 911, no. but um, yeah. How that will end up working, and um, basically it will, if the vehicle detects that it's been in an accident, it will dial 911 for you, and it will use your phone, so you always will have uh, a local 911 system. Okay. So if, you know, here it would go to the Charleston County um, mm -hmm. Center. If we were in um, Atlanta, 
then it would give us because um, it's hooked off planet. their towers. Right. Okay, it will always go to whatever local tower there is. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, so that's really about it as far as hooking up your phone and what the phone mm -hmm. service does. Yep. Now you have an Android device, so if yes. I wanted to hook up an Apple device, it's pretty much the same exact exact same process. Exact same process. Okay, yep. so that's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, now. Let's say you get out of the car here today and go inside, you know, the mall or whatever's going on. Do you need to cut, do you have to leave the Bluetooth on on your phone so it will automatically hook back up when you get mm -hmm. back in? Yep. Okay, if you yeah. shut your Bluetooth off, it won't connect. Okay, but do you have to, uh, let's say you get in and you cut your Bluetooth back on your phone, does it automatically hook up? Yep, it'll hook up automatically. So you don't have to do the whole process of loading everything again? Once, once it's in here, it's in here. Uh, okay. The only thing that you got to make sure is Bluetooth's on. That's it. So this is a call list. Yep. So that's all my recent calls. And then I can do all incoming. Mm -hmm. And then any outgoing. And then anything I've missed. Okay. All right. So that that's about um. So that's pretty much everything. Yep. And then uh, of course, it would give me all the it'll give you the the texts and tell me what I haven't opened up and read yet. Okay, so it's just so. a matter of clicking on the, the, the um, sound icon mm -hmm. for it to play back to you and listen, sorry. Yeah. Yep, and okay. then when you're uh, in the home screen, mm -hmm. it'll tell you which phone's hooked up. So if you got two phones, like you, the wife, girlfriend, whoever, uh -huh. and then uh, uh, it'll tell you which one it is, your signal strength, how much battery, the 911 is activated, and then uh, I've got a uh, message pending. Oh, really? Um, not now. That's a text message pending, not an email. Correct. Right, that's a text message. So you can hook more than one phone up to the car. Yes. So I could have if if so if you and your wife both have Bluetooth on, both phones could be paired. Both phones can be paired, but it will only have one phone active. Okay. So if you've got two phones, and you need to change to her phone, mm -hmm. her phone would be listed here. The star indicates that yours is the primary phone. Okay. Hers would be secondary or vice versa. And then if you needed to switch, you just tap hers and then it would connect to hers and disconnect yours. Oh, r right there while you're driving down the road. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Yep. So All it's right. pretty easy. And then any other Bluetooth device, if you got a, uh, you know, the old iPods and or mm -hmm. an iPad or some other device For music or with music on it, you can actually Bluetooth it in and it'll play. Okay. All right, so if we go into phone. Same thing what I saw over here. Mm -hmm. Now it'll do here. So go OK. There they are. OK, so you're seeing it right over there yep. too. So when you're going down the road, you can see all of your calls. And then if you get in, you're like, uh-oh, who called me and I missed it? Mm -hmm. It'll give you all your missed calls. OK. And if an incoming call is coming in, it'll display it over there on that screen as well? It will let you know um, if, if you're in that screen, mm -hmm. this is all it'll show you. Okay. okay. And then it will come up here, and then you can answer and hang up here. Okay. Yep. Answer, hang up there. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay, everybody. So you got to see a little bit how Dave explained and showed how the Android device hooks up. According to Dave, it's pretty simple and it works pretty much exactly the same with an iPhone. We're going to try to do that real quickly with my iPhone right now. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings on our iPhone and we're going to put our Bluetooth. We're going to go ahead and uh, enable our Bluetooth. So go right here to Bluetooth and let's go ahead and cut Bluetooth on. I mean, that's the first step. So while Bluetooth is on, it puts your phone in discoverable. Okay? Then we're going to come over here and we're going to hit, um, let's say, apps, add device. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. As you can see, now we, are, uh, we have the phone in discoverable mode and the vehicle. Select one of the devices found by sync. So there is uh, my phone right there, Chad's iPhone. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. So like she said, you want to confirm that the pin number here is the same as the pin number on our device, which, yes, is correct. So we want to go ahead and hit the pair button. 
And as you can see, it says Ford Edge right there on my iPhone. And go ahead and hit yes. Waiting for Chad's iPhone. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road. So pairing conditions. is Things voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. So it, the phone is now paired up. Now we're going to go ahead and read here, and you want to go ahead and hit the allow button on these notifications for everything to work properly. So we're going to hit allow right there, and now we're connected. So we can basically pop out of that screen and head over to here. Let's take a look. It says auto download contacts. We're going to go ahead and do that. Finish. Apple device must be plugged into Sync's USB port to work with mobile apps. So that right there will help with um, with the Sync setup so the mobile apps can be on there. But contacts download is complete. Sync does not have access to text messaging from Chad's iPhone. Check your phone to make sure you always grant Sync access to your phone. Text messaging feature and then retry. So let's go ahead and, I cut my phone off a minute ago, so let's go ahead and cut it back on. Let's hit retry, retry. And we should get a notification here. All right. Try again. Sync does not have access to text message from your Should you always sync access to your phone? Okay, so let's go into here settings. Connected. Show notifications. Contacts. All that good stuff. Okay, now we're good to go. It's set up. I went ahead and hit the buttons here to go ahead and grant access to everything on there. Apple devices must be plugged into Sync's USB port to work with mobile apps. So basically what we're gathering right now is that with Apple devices, you will take your charging cord, plug it into your phone, plug it into the USB port here in the car, and that's how you'll be able to use Apple CarPlay inside the Ford Edge to be able to have your apps and everything like that set up right here in the screen. So that's a great feature to have. Android, I think, is a little differently, and you may not have to have a USB uh, cord plugged in from the phone to the car, as when we were in here with Dave earlier, it never mentioned anything of that. So this is basically a simple tutorial on how to sync up your Apple or Android device right here in your Ford. Pretty much any brand new 2018 Ford would sync three works just the same. So it's really that simple. If your Ford vehicle does not have Sync 3 or this big screen inside of here, you can still hook up your phone with Bluetooth, again, as long as you have Bluetooth capability inside your Ford. And it's really pretty simple. Again, it's just going down to the basics of putting your phone in discoverable mode, put the vehicle in discoverable mode, pair them up just like we did before. So it's really a great feature to have, a great safety feature. Now, earlier, Dave was talking with us about the 911 assist, right? Now, here's some things I took away from the 911 assist that Dave was mentioning of. First off, let's see if we can find it here on our screen. So 911 assist is under the settings tab. You click settings, come in, there's 911 assist. We're going to go ahead and click that. 911 assist right there, set emergency contacts. Basically, you can set two emergency contacts. So whether that be your mom, your dad, or your husband or wife, your family, if you have two emergency contacts, you can set them up in there. So if a call needs to go through in case of an emergency, it doesn't just have to call 911, it can call those emergency contacts as well. That's pretty cool. You know, it's a great feature to have this 911 assist. Like Dave mentioned earlier, if you get in an accident, 
it's going to call 911 and alert wherever you're at. So depending on wherever you're at in the country, if you're in Atlanta, Georgia, if you're in Orlando, Florida, or right here in Ravenel, South Carolina, the phone that you have is hooked up on the towers and it'll call the closest um, you know, emergency services place in that city. So that's really nice. Also, what he said though was that if you're, let's say you're in a parking lot and you get in a tiny little fender bender or something like that, you know, and it actually gives you up to 10 seconds before it calls 911. So if that happens, remember, you got about 10 seconds. If you're not hurt and maybe you don't need 911, you know, called or something like that, you have up to 10 seconds to go in there and cancel the vehicle from calling 911. So you got that. And you can also, again, have it set up with the set emergency contact if you want to call them instead of 911. But once again, you know, if you get in a bad accident and you know you're passed out in the car or something like that, it's going to call 911. It's going to let them know you're in an accident, and hopefully, and I'm pretty sure here that a 911 representative will actually come over the speaker system in the car and start talking with you while this process is going on. So great features by Ford. Having your Bluetooth hooked up in the car in 2018, it's a must-have. Also, like we saw earlier, text messages go through the vehicle. It can read them back out to you. So there's so many great features you can have to be able to be safe driving down the road and still be able to be connected with your phone while driving your Ford. Now here's another question that maybe people might have. Can you hook up more than one device, right? Maybe you and your girlfriend want to have both phones hooked up with the car. Yes, you can. You can pair up multiple devices with Sync with Ford. Um, what Dave was telling us earlier was that the only thing is, is you can only have one device actually working inside the vehicle while you're inside the car. If your wife's phone and your phone both have Bluetooth on, both phones will pop up on the screen, but you can only have one being used at that particular time and it shows on the screen there a number one by it. You can switch to number two or use number one. So that's a great feature to have more than one phone paired up in the car at one time. Another question you may have is how do I delete my phone out of the system? Maybe I'm getting ready to trade my car in at the dealership and I don't want all my contacts in here. Or maybe you're going to let your son or daughter borrow the car for the weekend or a friend or something like that. And again, you just don't want everyone having access to your personal information and phone numbers. You can delete it and it's pretty simple. Let's take a look. So the first thing you might want to do when disabling your phone from the car is just go ahead and cut the Bluetooth off just like that. As you can see on the screen here it says add phone if you want to add another one or connect to Chad's iPhone. So if you click that it's going to try to connect but it's not going to be able to connect because the Bluetooth is actually off right now on the phone. So we're going to go ahead and close that out right there. Let's see how we can actually delete my phone. Come here, Chad's iPhone, let's hit that. It gives you all the manufacturer information about your phone, but we're still trying to figure out how to delete the phone. Maybe go here and delete, there you have it. Connect phone and media, there's how you get the music and all that in here, but let's go ahead and delete. Delete Chad's iPhone, yes. And it's deleted just that simple. Now here's a question a lot of people have about their phones with their cars. If I get out of the vehicle and go inside the store, will the phone automatically link back up with the vehicle when I get back inside? Yes, it will. But remember folks, you have to leave the Bluetooth feature on. So leave it enabled in your phone. As long as Bluetooth is on on your phone, when you come back in the car from inside the store or even going in the house and waking up the next morning, as long as the Bluetooth is on, it will automatically pair back up with the vehicle. Pretty easy stuff. It's a great feature to have.